वेलकम स्टूडेंट्स ऑफ क्लास एट आई एम योर सोशल साइंस डिजिटल मेंटोर एंड टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू स्टार्ट ज्योग्राफी चैप्टर थ्री रिसोर्सेज नेचुरल वेजिटेशन एंड वाइल्ड लाइफ लर्निंग ऑब्जेक्टिव इंपॉर्टेंस ऑफ नेचुरल वेजिटेशन एंड वाइल्ड लाइफ क्लासिफिकेशन ऑफ नेचुरल वेजिटेशन डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन ऑफ वाइल्ड लाइफ फैक्टर्स अफेक्टिंग नेचुरल वेजिटेशन कंजर्वेशन ऑफ नेचुरल वेजिटेशन कंजर्वेशन ऑफ वाइल्ड लाइफ लेट्स वॉर्म अप लुक एट द फॉलोइंग पिक्चर्स आइडेंटिफाई ईच वन ऑफ देम हाउ डू दे कॉन्ट्रीब्यूट टू आर नेचुरल वेजिटेशन एंड वाइल्ड लाइफ एप्लीकेशन स्किल्स गुंजन वॉज वेरी एक्साइटेड टू गो टू स्कूल she wanted to show her friend shikha the new ivory bracelet her father had got her from his trip to assam shikha was however very upset after seeing it she told gunjan that ivory is obtained from the tusk of elephants and some other animals these animals are hunted and killed for ivory can you help gunjan and shikha make a list of all the animals that are killed for their body parts bones horns skins teeth etc natural vegetation and wildlife are valuable natural resources they exist in the biosphere a place where the lithosphere hydrosphere and atmosphere meet importance of natural vegetation and wildlife the importance of natural vegetation and wildlife is immense in the life of humans plants provide us with oxygen items of daily use food in the form of cereals pulses vegetables fruits etc and other articles like timber firewood resins and medicines besides plants check soil erosion control global warming and prevent floods they also support the livelihood of a number of tribal communities and forest dwellers nature and its forest also provide home to the wildlife why should we save the rainforest rainforests are an absolutely essential resource let's know why it is our responsibility to save them indigenous people have thrived in rainforest since the beginning of time many of them are facing extinction as the rainforest are diminishing without the rainforest to soak up rain and release it slowly floods and droughts would become more common and global warming and climate change would be accentuated rainforests are a place for migratory birds to live during harsh northern winters when a rainforest is cut the soil erodes and the land becomes a desert we need to change the way we use the rainforest land to keep it rich and verdant our atmosphere clear and healthy and the abundance that thrives here available to future generations based on the above passage answer the following questions number 1 what would happen if rainforest did not soak up the rain number 2 what is our responsibility towards the future generation animals provide us with milk meat eggs honey fur feather and hide they are used for plowing and as beast of burden dead and decaying plant and animal provide humus to make the soil fertile animals helps in maintaining the balance in the ecosystem through food chain and food web The interaction between plants and animals with their environment is called an ecosystem. In this picture you can see products from plants and in this one you can see products from animals. Factors affecting natural vegetation. Natural vegetation refers to the original vegetation without any human interference. The growth of natural vegetation depends on climatic factors like temperature and moisture. because plants require air sunlight water and nutrients to grow there is a wide variety in natural vegetation because the factors influencing the growth of plants vary from place to place relief of the land climate temperature and moisture human factors economic development of a region classification of natural vegetation natural vegetation can be classified into forest grassland shrubs deserts and tundra vegetation forest forest can be described as clusters of trees growing close together sometimes the trees grow so close together that their tops from the canopy through which even sunlight cannot penetrate forest grow in hot and humid climate and are not found in very cold regions 
they can be divided broadly in two types evergreen and deciduous forest however these broad varieties have several subgroups evergreen forest evergreen forest derive their name from the fact that their trees do not shed leaves in any particular season thus these forests remain green throughout the year in this picture you can see lianas in interior of lowland rainforest la selva biological station costa rica us evergreen forest are divided into four subgroups tropical evergreen forest tropical evergreen forests are commonly found in the equatorial regions like the amazon and orinoco river basins in south america zaire basin in africa the southeast asian countries namely indonesia malaysia cambodia vietnam and new guinea and parts of philippines they have hot and wet climate throughout the year these forests mostly have hardwood trees that are tall and dense with broad leaves often these tall trees form overhead canopies trees here are found at various heights giving rise to varieties of different levels of vegetation these trees include mahogany ebony chinchona rosewood and rubber as these forests are dense they do not allow sunlight to penetrate the ground giving rise to damp ground covered with mosses and lichens climbers and giant creepers called lianas grow here in tropical forest a large variety of trees are found in a small area making commercial utilization of the forest difficult temperate evergreen forest temperate evergreen forest are found along the eastern margin of the continents in the warm temperate regions these include south china south japan southeast brazil southeast australia and parts of southeast usa here the summers are very hot and experience heavy rainfall a mixed variety of hardwood trees that grow here provide valuable timber the trees found here are oak pine walnut mulberry eucalyptus wattle camphor and bamboo wolf antelope bear and deer are the animals found here in this image you can see temperate evergreen forest yarra ranges victoria australia mediterranean forest mediterranean forests are found in both the hemispheres on the western margin of the continents in the area surrounding the mediterranean sea southern europe portugal spain italy south france yugoslavia turkey and greece west asia cyprus israel lebanon and syria california central chile south africa southern australia south america and northwestern africa morocco algeria and tunisia summers are dry and winters are rainy here these forests are not very dense the trees here are broad leaved and evergreen they are of medium height some of them have special adaptive features like thick bark small waxy leaves and long roots to combat the summer heat olive oak cork oak fig laurel pine fir cedar cypress and citrus fruits like oranges and lemon grow here grape vines are common too wolves foxes wild boars rabbits vultures and eagles are the common animals seen here coniferous forest popularly known as taiga coniferous forest found between 55 degree and 70 degree latitudes in both hemispheres they include south canada south alaska norway sweden poland finland north russia and siberia the temperature is low here all the year around in this picture you can see coniferous forest the trees are tall and straight with small needle like leaves they provide softwood useful for making furnitures mat sticks paper newsprint and sports accessories these trees include pine fir spruce and cedar silver fox mink and black and brown bear are the animals that can be seen here deciduous forest deciduous forest derive their name from the fact that the trees found here shed their leaves during a particular time of the year usually during the dry season deciduous forest can be divided into two subgroups tropical and temperate tropical deciduous forest tropical deciduous forest are located in the regions that have a monsoon climate these forests are popularly known as monsoon forest they are found in the indian subcontinent sri lanka northeast australia and southeast asia pakistan bangladesh myanmar thailand laos 
वियतनाम फिलीपींस ताइवान साउथ चाइना सेंट्रल अमेरिका एंड पार्ट ऑफ ब्राजील दे एक्सपीरियंस मानसून क्लाइमेट विथ ऑल्टरनेट ड्राई एंड वेट स्पेल्स द फॉरेस्ट आर लेस देंस देन दी रेन फॉरेस्ट देयर ट्रीज आर ऑफ मीडियम हाइट एंड शेड देयर लीव इन दी ड्राई सीजन इन दिस पिक्चर यू कैन सी ट्रॉपिकल डेसिडस फॉरेस्ट इन साउथ इंडिया दे हैव कमर्शियल वैल्यू एंड इंक्लूड टीक साल सैंडलवुड बैम्बू एंड यूकेलेप्टस देयर इज अ डेंस अंडर ग्रोथ ऑफ बुशेज एंड श्रब्स इन दीज फॉरेस्ट ट्रॉपिकल फॉरेस्ट हैव अ वाइड रेंज ऑफ वाइल्ड एनिमल्स एंड रेप्टाइल्स क्रॉकोडाइल स्नेक्स एनाकोंडास कलरफुल बर्ड्स मंकीज और एंगटन्स टाइगर्स लेपर्ड्स एंड राइनासर्स टेम्परेट डेसिडस फॉरेस्ट Temperate deciduous forests are found in the cool temperate region in the eastern and western margin of the continent. They cover northeast USA, northwest Europe, British Isle, Norway, Sweden, Finland and Russia. In this picture you can see temperate deciduous forests. Northern parts of China and Japan, North and South Korea, southern part of Chile and New Zealand. Temperate deciduous forests are named so because the temperature here is temperate or moderate these forests receive 30 60 inches of rain every year and are ranked second only to the rainforest as the rainiest biome although the average temperature is 50 degree fahrenheit 10 degree celsius winter here typically has temperatures below freezing point the trees of the temperate deciduous forest have leaves that change color with the season and eventually fall to the ground during winter The vegetation includes large oak, maple, beech, chestnut, hickory, elm, basswood, linden, walnut and sweet gum trees. Shrubs like rhododendrons, azaleas, mountain laurels, huckleberries, lichens, club mosses and true mosses are found here. Black bears, wolves and coyotes are the common animal that live in the temperate deciduous forest. In this image you can see club mosses. forest fires a forest fire is an uncontrollable fire occurring in nature sometimes the forest fire spreads over large areas and takes a long time to be put off resulting in great destruction of flora and fauna a forest fire is also called wild fire brush fire bush fire grass fire etc according to the vegetation damages in this image you can see a forest fire in australia causes natural Natural forest fires are usually caused due to lightning in places where little or no rain accompanies a stormy weather. Man-made. It is estimated that nine out of ten forest fires are caused by humans. The most common cause of man-made fire is the use of open flames and disposable barbecue grills. Even a cigarette that is not properly extinguished, fallen power lines, sparks from trains, sparks from edge trimmers. along roadways or sparks from tools and forestry machinery being used in the forest can cause fires effects negative forest fire causes loss of valuable forest resources like timber destruction of landscape extinction of many animals and plants and soil erosion the smoke ashes and residue on land and in air causes breathing problems many forest dwellers who are dependent on forest products lose their means of livelihood positive surprisingly forest fire also have some positive effects they clear up the forest of dead and decaying matter and help to maintain a balance in the ecosystem by removing plants infested with pests and harmful insects it clears build up vegetation and helps in germination of seeds prevention and control of forest fires We can prevent the occurrence of forest fires by being aware of the cause of wildfires. Various steps to prevent a forest fire are always follow the laws governing burning of different kind of things or material. Avoid burning garbage etc when strong winds are blowing as winds accelerate and spread fire. Burn garbage and campfires in controlled location. where fire extinguishing equipments are also available avoid burning highly combustible things educate people about how to prevent fire authorities should place sensors and monitors forest to help in early detection of fire a lot of water and fire fighting chemicals are needed to extinguish the vast fires that spread rapidly sometimes aerial spray of water is necessary
people living near the forest have to be shifted to a safe place natural barriers like rivers lakes and ridge tops have to be marked by firefighters a 10 to 20 meter wide belt of land is cleared of trees to form an artificial barrier to keep the forest fire at bay in this image you can see aerial spray of water to put out forest fire to control a forest fire we must break the fire triangle of fuel temperature and oxygen this can be done either by robbing the fire of the fuel or by reducing its temperature and the supply of oxygen grasslands the areas that receive lesser rainfall have grasses growing between trees these areas with long and tall grasses covering wide stretches of land are called grasslands half the area of the land is covered by grasslands the location and extent of grasslands depend upon the rainfall the region receives grasslands are broadly classified into two types tropical and temperate grasslands tropical grasslands tropical grasslands are found in the tropical zone or either side of the rainforest they are extensively located in the continent of africa sudan kenya uganda tanzania zambia zimbabwe angola niger mali and chad where they are called savanna in this picture you can see tropical grasslands tanzania they are also found in northern australia brazilian highlands and guana highlands they have a dry season with some rainfall in summers the landscape is dotted with tall and coarse grasses interspersed with small trees and stunted thorny bushes elephant giraffe zebra and leopard are the popular wildlife found in these grasslands temperate grasslands temperate grasslands are located between 30 degree to 50 degree latitudes in both hemispheres and are in the interior of the continents the rainfall is inadequate here and hence these areas are treeless with varying height of grasses the temperature varies between minus 20 degree celsius in winter to 21 degree celsius in summers in this image you can see temperate grasslands these grasslands have short grasses with scattered trees like willow alder and poplar prairie dog coyote kangaroo ostrich and emu can be seen here shrubs in areas with very high and low temperatures and less rainfall shrubs are also found normally they grow in hot deserts and cold tundra regions desert vegetation deserts are found in the tropics and subtropics in the western margins of the continents they are found in north africa sahara south africa kalahari chile atacama north america sonoran the great australian desert australia and great thar desert india the climate in the desert is very hot with no or very little rainfall the vegetation here comprises stunted trees and shrubs with thick and spongy stems long roots and thorny wax coated leaves which help them in retaining water in this picture you can see alpine tundra vegetation copper mountains colorado cactus kikar babul trees thorny bushes coarse grasses and date palms are the main vegetation of deserts cold deserts are found in temperate regions in asia and south america they include gobi desert tibetan plateau in asia and patagonian desert in south america cold deserts are mostly barren tundra vegetation tundra regions are located to the north of the arctic circle in the northern hemisphere and upper areas of the high mountains these regions are extremely cold they are mainly found in eurasia and north america the vegetation comprises mosses lichens and grass which grow in the slightly warmer regions birch willow and a variety of flowers also grow here polar bear walrus caribou silver fox and mink are the common species of animals found here in this picture you can see desert vegetation in thar desert india natural vegetation in india the natural vegetation of india varies depending on the climate of the different regions by and large india experiences tropical monsoon climate with slight regional variations a large part of india receive adequate rainfall to support dense growth of forest in this table you can see natural vegetation in india rainfall type tropical evergreen rainforest rainfall more than 200 cm location western ghats western coast northeast states andaman and nicobar islands vegetation 
commercially important hardwood trees namely mahogany chinkona wild rubber and bamboo and rosewood are found here tropical deciduous monsoon forest rainfall between 75 to 200 cm location wetter parts of the peninsular plateau northern plains up to himalayan foothills shorter trees like bamboo sal teak sandalwood and shisham are found here bamboo bamboo is grown abundantly thorn forest less than 50 cm of rainfall location parts of rajasthan gujarat punjab and haryana drier areas of peninsular india vegetation thorny bushes cactus acacia kikar babul and date palms are found here mountain forest rainfall 20 to 50 cm location himalayas higher hills of northeast and peninsular india at altitudes between 1000 to 2000 In above sea level vegetation comprises mainly stunted trees temperate trees like pine fir deodar and chestnut are found between 1500 to 3000 meter alpine shrubs grasses birches spruce and pine grow above 3000 meter tidal forest mangrove forest rainfall 100 to 150 cm location deltas of the sundarban west bengal Swambi areas of the deltas of Mahanadi, Godavari, Kaveri, and Krishna. Vegetation: trees, shrubs, ferns, and palms grow here. Sundari trees are the most popular and abundant trees found here. Conservation of natural vegetation: We have already learnt about the usefulness of forest. Unfortunately, man is destroying them for a number of reasons. Trees are burned, felled, and forests are cleared to make land available. for agriculture industries and settlements and also to obtain fuel from wood overpopulation has further increased this problem other natural factors like storms forest fires floods droughts in insects and diseases also destroy forest this felling of trees and reduction of forest cover is called deforestation there are a number of harmful effects of deforestation like soil erosion hill slopes becoming barren increase in temperature decrease in rainfall and destruction of wildlife habitat there is an urgent need to stop deforestation and protect our natural vegetation from exploitation and destruction let's learn about some steps that can be taken to stop deforestation first increase the areas under forest cover by planting more trees or afforestation Declare cutting or destroying of trees as an illegal activity with stringent punishment for people who destroy forest. Protect forest from forest fires. Discourage the practice of shifting cultivation. Prevent overgrazing by animals. Encourage social forestry which involves participation of local people in planting and protecting trees for their environment and social benefits. An international agreement called CITES Convention on International Trade in Endangered Species of Wild Fauna and Flora ensures that trade in wild plants animals does not threaten their existence and lead to their extinction. India has a long term plan called the National Forestry Action Program for increasing forest cover and preventing deforestation. It aims to bring one third of the total land area under forest cover. One Mahotsav is another program which is celebrated every year to encourage planting of trees. Distribution of wildlife. Wildlife refers to animals, birds, fishes and insects that are not domesticated. It is an important part of our ecosystem and their existence is very important to maintain the balance in our environment. There are a million species of different animals in the world that live in their natural habitat provided by forests, grasslands and deserts. The type of wildlife in different regions depends on the types of natural vegetation and climate of that region. Similar species dwell in a particular type of climate and vegetation. Hence, every biome has its characteristic wildlife. In this image, you can see different wildlife: ostrich, muskox, armadillo, ermine, leopard, koala, Africa. Africa has a very wide variety of wildlife. The tropical and equatorial forest of Africa are home to a number of animal species like lions, tigers, leopards, monkeys, jaguars, apes, snakes, crocodiles, elephants, rhinos and hippos. Thousands of species of birds and insects also live in these forests. The savannas are mostly inhabited by grass-eating animals like giraffe, zebras, deer and elephants. 
flesh eating animals like lions tigers and leopards are also found here camels ostriches rodents reptiles and insects are found in the desert north america the main animals living in the warmer parts of north america are bison badgers mooses elks beavers and hedgehogs animals with thick fur like reindeer polar bear arctic fox sables and musk ox are found in the cold northern part of the continent south america south america is rich in wildlife monkeys jaguars pumas giant turtles and alligators can be seen in the forest here the largest bird of prey in the world condor and flightless bird like ostrich are also common here ant eaters and armadillos are ancient mammals of south america the andes mountains are home to the lianas and anacondas are found in the marshlands europe Europe does not have much wildlife because of lack of forest cover. Animal like wolves, wild boars, wild sheep, antelopes and polar bear are found in the cold upper regions of Europe. There are fur farms on which animals like mink, sables and ermines are reared. Partridges, skylarks, cuckoos and night angels are the birds found here. Asia. Asia has a wide variety of vegetation and climate. hence many species of wildlife are found here the tropical regions have animals like lions tigers elephants monkeys and leopards in the temperate regions cranes herons foxes and bears are found while the cold taiga and tundra regions are inhabited by polar bears lynx minks sables musk oxen and arctic foxes australia australia has many unusual type of animals like marsupials which carry their babies in their pouches kangaroo koala and wallaby are some marsupials found here the birds consist of ms kingfishers also known as kookaburras and lyre birds the duck billed platypus is another unusual animal found in australia antarctica although antarctica is snow bound many animals and birds are found in regions where there is land and water Antarctica is associated with penguins and now and the snow petrel which is like a small white dove the coastal regions are inhabited by seals and albatross especially during summers whales and small krills are found in the water bodies of antarctica conservation of wildlife climatic factors like floods landslides tsunamis forest fires and human activities like deforestation Construction and hunting of animals for their hide, tusk, horns and feathers have caused great damage to our wildlife and their habitat. This has led to extinction of many animals and various species have become endangered. There is an urgent need to protect our wildlife from further damage. A number of ways can help us to do this. Fact file. India has about 103 national parks, 18 biosphere reserves. India also has 50 tiger reserves and 448 wildlife sanctuaries. Strict laws should be passed against hunting of animals and killing of birds. Trading in animal products like hide, skin, tusk, horns and feathers should be declared illegal. Awareness amongst people to conserve forest and wildlife should be increased. School children should be encouraged to participate in programs related to conservation of wildlife. National parks, wildlife sanctuaries and biosphere reserves for protection of wildlife should be developed. Sites prohibit trade in animals products. It also says that conservation of vegetation and wildlife go together since animals are dependent on natural vegetation. Another international body called WWF Worldwide Fund for Nature promotes the welfare and conservation of wildlife. Value and life skills. You have read about the many plants and animals species found in different vegetation belts you have also read about the destruction of their habitats in these belts which is a major cause of concern as an individual what can you do in this regard recapitulation tropical and temperate forests have evergreen and deciduous forests coniferous trees are found in taiga region tropical and temperate grasslands have grasses cactus thorny bushes and shrubs are found in hot deserts mosses lichen and short grasses cover the ground in the tundra region all continents have a wide variety of wildlife depending on the
क्लाइमेटिक एंड नेचुरल वेजिटेशन ग्रास लैंड आर इनहेबिटेड बाय ग्रास ईटिंग एनिमल्स एज वेल एज फ्लैश ईटिंग एनिमल्स वी मस्ट कंजर्व नेचुरल वेजिटेशन एंड वाइल्ड लाइफ टू प्रोटेक्ट आर इकोसिस्टम थैंक यू क्लास लेट्स मीट अगेन इन द नेक्स्ट चैप्टर